Hello, welcome to our fourth episode of the Spicy Brownies. Mm -hmm. Today we're going to be talking about chakras, and we're also going to just you know be promoting our the shows that we're on and and um rosa here is very experienced with chakras i'm a beginner so we're going to be basically today's going to be a learning experience <laughs> um Hell yeah i've been rosa, learning about what, chakras for uh several years now how many so um, how many shows so how many shows are you on so far this month Okay, I just had a show on Friday. It was this. <laughs> it was the Toxic Latinx show. I ended up headlining that show, which was pretty fun. And then it went really good, really, good. really good. I was good. super excited. Good. And then um, after that, we did a dead room um, comedy bit, and I made the final four, which was pretty cool. Uh, and then I have a show this Friday in Denver again at the um, Comedy Garage. I've never been there, so I'm super excited. Um, he's going to let me know later on this week if I'm headlining. So that's going to be super fun. I'm on a show the 24th. I'm hosting at the Lyric, and then I'm going to be on a show on the 20... I think it's the 23rd. Okay. It's a super skeptic show where we talk about ghost stories um oh. so i get to talk about a couple of things that have happened to me um i'm kind of like tossing up a couple of them that i have um for funsies i think i'm gonna bring up uh my dad in one and then i'm gonna bring up the angel of death that i saw when i almost died from covid oh shit. so those ones i think are my main ones i think we get like 10 minutes so that's gonna be fun and then um i think that's it for now unless more shows come my way shoot yeah <laughs> what you got that's, going on with your really all your everything's yeah i know right i um i just started uh collaborating with one of my comedy peers here um the, one of the comedy peers that I do open mic with, uh, he and I just started today. We just started collaborating on filming comedy content, like comedy sketches. Yeah, I saw and that. It's funny. We're going to be just co collaborating only on the weekends because during the week I am busy. I'm busy writing. I try to write every single day. It's really hard because I'm so busy with like submitting to roles, auditioning to acting roles and working men like running my business and so many other things you know my relationship with anthony and then you know just life like cleaning laundry etc 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 so and then and then the collaborate and working with you on this on this podcast so i i just started collaborating with dominic um he is also a comedian and actor Ooh. and we decided uh that we both our energies align as far as like we're both freaking crazy when it comes to like making content growing our following our fan base so right. i finally found someone who's just as psychotic as i am yeah. sometimes that's hard to do but i'm so yeah. glad that, that I, happened nicely for you I, found, I finally found another another uh artist that is just as crazy as i am with like you know putting comedy content out there that is very relatable and um nice i'm crazy but i love what i do i'm really trying to get booked on more shows this month but it's really hard to balance that and acting auditions so i don't know i'm just really trying to do it all so but i'm i'm booked on right now i just finished uh today i i was on set um and i did a supporting role for a web series and then very cool it's actually supposed to be a lead role it's supposed to be a lead role uh on a web series and um i don't know when that will be airing and then i um i'm booked as a supporting role 
for a project based out of New York City, and I'm waiting for the final details on when that's like when that's going to happen. And I have some comedy shows coming up. I have one, it's a comedy contest at Flappers Comedy Club, which is based out of Burbank. And I have another one coming up at Universal Bar and Grill. So um, I mean, I do my I do mics I do open mics Monday through Friday. And I try to get on as many shows as I can, but it's just, it's a- Everything's it's, gonna fall into place the way it needs to. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. And I'm honestly, I'm not too worried because I'm just, I'm not, I'm just not worried. Cause I just know it, everything will, everything will happen when it's supposed to happen. I'm just grateful for being, a working actress, model, and comedian. I'm just grateful to be working. I really, really struggle with work-life balance. I really fucking struggle with that, so. I had to force myself to give me that work-life balance. Yeah. Um, because of like my health, my mental health, and the fact that I um, need to recharge my batteries. Yes. Yes. Because if I don't, then I'm not 100% at whatever it is that I'm doing. Right. If it's right. like doing, um, taking care of my grandkids, going up on stage, singing. I went and did karaoke the other day and I hadn't done that in a minute and it felt so good. And I was just okay. like, Ooh, girl. But I was super drained afterwards. So I was just like, okay, all right. I did three shows that I sang. So it's okay to take a break. <laughs> so I got to listen to my body. But yeah, I'm definitely yeah. um, supportive towards people that uh, need to embrace that they need to recharge. So yep. give yep. yourself a little bit of time to do that uh, yep. while you're, you know, scheduling all your things that you need to do in your life. So, and I'm and still just um, making sure that my vibrations are high so right exactly um other than that today on this podcast we will be talking about chakras um actually rose is going to be doing most of the talking because i'm not really that experienced with chakras i i just started getting into it this this year so rose is very experienced with chakras and she's going to be educating us on the different chakras and we're just going to be listening <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can ask questions if you have any questions. I mean, I just want you to be able to know how powerful you are as a human form. And I feel like it's important that everybody knows how powerful they are so that they can embrace those, um, those gifts within their being and uh, start being conscious about how certain things work in our bodies not just our um our organs or our, our five senses that we are aware of because our senses go beyond just the five okay. um and i learned that really quickly once i got hit with the truck and then all the things started coming to me and i was starting to feel all kinds of things um so it became super important as my spiritual hygiene to learn how to ground learn how to clear learn how to cut ties learn how to cut cords learn how to um release other people's energies that linger around me off mm. because i like helping other people and i help like i like helping people learn how they have a spiritual being within their human form that needs to be cleared sometimes you know like at the end of the day we feel drained or at the end of the day are we go into a certain building and we start feeling angry or anxious or weird um those are because all of our other senses are heightened uh once we start learning about our chakras and learning about our different senses learning how to connect with crystals learning how to connect with the ground mother earth and plants and all the elements so i mean this is like going to be like a quick crash course because um we only have 
uh, a few minutes and, you know, we could just touch the basics. So yeah, that way, yeah. um, if we have anybody that has questions and wants to get more in depth um, information about certain things, um, I welcome you to go and look up chakras on YouTube, go Google them. Uh, Google is a, one of my major uh, places of where I've researched in order to get where I need to go on YouTube or Wikipedia or whatever. But I also am a reader. So I have read this book, Hands of Light, and it uh, gives you that information of how our hands are a source of energy where we pick up energy, how we release energy, how we can create energy, um, and how we as humans have the capacity ground after we've been in places that aren't of our highest good or aren't like of a high vibration. Like sometimes comedy clubs aren't the best, you know what I mean? Sometimes going into places that have been bars. Um, now that I'm not drinking, I ha have felt people in the bars when they're drunk. <laughs> and that's yeah. pretty intense. So it's yeah. important for me to be able to clear those things out. So okay. um, I'm just going to give you... Uh, just an idea in a photo picture form of i don't know if you're able to see it i can uh yes i can see it so like the, the seven chakras i don't know if i can really i can see it okay but i can see it cool so i'm gonna start with we have seven chakras within our human form and all seven seven of them are connected uh to our power sources. They're each a different light. We could see them as a candle or we can see them just as a light. So okay. whenever we're meditating and we wanna focus on being able to connect to our higher power, our higher source, our uh, availability to fill the universe, uh -huh. we go above what we call our crown. Okay. And our crown chakra is the color violet. And what it does is it connects us to, like I said, to source, to God, to, I feel like God lives within us, but our guides, our higher self, our oversoul, yes. our archangels, our, um, our guides, the ones that protect us from, you know, like when we're in a car accident and then all of a sudden we can't understand why we lived. It's because our guardian angels were protecting us during that time frame like i got hit by a truck and i rolled onto oh, shit. oncoming traffic oh shit. And the car stopped like i didn't get smashed by a car like wow. that's, super, that's super intense you know it is so it's like i know that within that experience that I was fully protected by my guardian angels and my guides. Do you know who your guardian angels are? I have a guardian angel named Matthew. Okay. And I also connect with Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is my go-to archangel. Okay. I also work with Archangel Uriel, Zankael. Wow. Archangel Metatron. Archangel Gabriel. I always tune into Archangel Gabriel whenever I need like certain healing on certain um, parts of my human form. Like if I know somebody's done me wrong and I need to forgive them as well yeah. as forgive myself, I call upon Archangel Gabriel Aww. and his color is green. And so is your heart chakra. As a matter of fact, your heart chakra is pink and green and it uh, coincides with love your heart, your lungs, and your thalamus. So within this area is where your heart chakra is. Okay. But I wanna go back up. I wanna go back up, because we hit the crown, and then we're gonna go to the next one is the third eye. Uh -huh. The third eye is where you have your intuition. Where oh. are you, that's like your mind's eye. So like, okay. if you get like a premonition, or if you get like a really um, intense, vivid, uh, dream it's coming from your yeah. and it's, yeah. it's 
the color is indigo. So if you ever want to like in your meditation, want to fully connect to um, your intuition and what you want to be able to see from a situation or what you want to learn from a situation, you go into your third eye. And like I said, your the crown is violet. The third eye is indigo. So when you're meditating, you use the color indigo in order to um, see your third eye, if that makes sense. You can also see it. You go into your color indigo. Say that again. So when you're trying to imagine your third eye, because we can't see it. Like looking at you right now, I can't see it on your out right. of the you human form. To- I it's, know what you're talking about because because I've actually when I, when I when I meditate I meditate on a daily basis, I close my eyes and I can see the third eye. I can right. see. It. So we can see our own, and we have that capability, as you know. And whenever we are tuning in to what it is that we need to learn from a situation, or what we need to sense out from the situation, or if we're feeling something and we're not quite sure what the fuck it is, that's where you go and you tune into if that makes sense. Or if you're trying to clear off somebody that is put a block on you, or somebody has put some sort of funky energy on your vibe, and you feel it on your third eye, you have the capability of cutting that cord. How do you how do you feel it on your third eye? It's a buzzy. It's buzzy. It buzzes. It buzzes from for me. It buzzes from here all the way down into my sinus cavity and sometimes on my lip. And that's how I know that something's going on that I need to be able to connect with. My hands have been buzzing a lot too lately. And so is like um, my heart chakra. I've been really connected like with my mom. So I, I know whenever my mom's thinking about me because I'll feel it on my heart chakra. Uh, or if I feel like some sort of way about some sort of thing that has something to do with love or self love, I feel it on my heart chakra. And like I said, that's that's green or pink. But I don't want you to forget and go back up. So we did the crown, the third eye. The next is the throat chakra. Oh, okay. And the throat chakra is for expression, how we're able to speak our minds, how we're able to use our voice in order to create or explain or have emotion with or uh, express ourselves in any way vocally that we have the capacity to. Or even when we um, we send that vibration of um throughout our whole chakra system that creates the availability to clear so it's like okay um alignment so that's how come like the monks and the and the um the dalai lama they use the that om om sound when they're doing yoga or doing meditation because the vibration creates a clear pathway to all of your chakras. So when you're in meditation and you're thinking about each of your chakras, it's okay to do the om sound. And then that's when you'll start feeling the vibrations and feeling the sensations. It's pretty intense. Okay, I'll start doing that that when I meditate. Awesome. I, I welcome you to do that. It's it's we do it for ourselves and it's like that purring that we get from cats, but we have the availability to do it ourselves. Okay. Okay. Another another thing that is really cool while we're on the words of home om um you can clear out spaces with that vibration so if you're having an issue with needing to clear out energies and for whatever I reason i didn't think energy. about it with spirit energy energies or even um people human forms coming and projecting shit on you or uh, memory ghosts that come in negative, specifically negative energy right facts yes okay Okay. So if you're feeling going into a room and you start feeling some sort of way and you know it's your house and you know that you need to clear you Palo Santo Sage, what however you go through it around your house in order to clear, like we've spoken about before, you can also emphasize it with that um you're not allowed in my human form either. 
and you and you hum it out. You know what oh. I mean? So I'm glad that we're talking about this so that way we can emphasize so, how okay, so, um, powerful that is. Okay, so it's crown, crown, violet, and then indigo, third eye. So crown, third eye, throat, throat chakra, and then heart, heart chakra. Okay. So we talked about the heart a few times. So it glows green or pink, depending on your feelings. Um, it goes on your through your emotions. Um, the throat chakra is blue. Forgot to say that. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go on to the next one. I'm gonna push my thingy back so that you could see me a little bit. Okay. It's right here underneath the boob area. It's called the solar plexus. Okay. Um, it's yellow. So whenever you're having some sort of self-consciousness or feeling some sort of way about your self-image or even con your confidence, it's your self-esteem area. Okay. okay. So if you're feeling like something's funky in your, in your stomach bits, it right underneath, uh, right underneath your, your, um, your breastal area, uh, if it's not you feeling some sort of way and then all of a sudden you feel it on that area, it could be somebody attacking that area. So uh -huh. all you need to do is imagine light, the light yellow on that area so that you can create a clear way okay. of, of feeling, sensing, being, and accepting of yourself. Okay. So the next one is the sacral and that's your belly button. And um, that one's orange. And that's like your, um, it's where in women, our womb is and like right underneath the belly button is our womb and our ovaries and our um, reproductive systems. So in men, it's where they um, have their gut feelings, you know, because all their parts are on the outs. So with women, it's different. We feel it on the inners, but oh, men like feel, it on, feel it on their kidneys, you know, if they're feeling some sort of thing. Um, so this is where we have our, oh my gosh, our feeling towards um, what we want to have in our lives, if that makes sense. And that color is orange. So whenever you're envisioning like, something that you want to have in your life uh-huh you think of orange uh okay so interactions with the out with our um with sex and having interactions with uh connecting with your with your partner and those that you interact with outside of your tribe like outside of the people that you interact with regularly, not in a sexual way, but you still connect with humans. You know what I'm saying? You yes. feel them in, in, in your, those, those chakras and you don't know why. And sometimes you'll feel it right there above your giny bits. And you're like, Oh, why do I, why do I feel this way? And then later on you find out that guy wanted to fuck you. Oh, or that chick was feeling some sort of way about you and your giny bits and how you're doing your thing. It it goes in both ways, so you got to be careful with that area. Okay. <clears throat> and when you start feeling things, and just put the color of orange on it. It's like the bottom part of your being is like the sunset, because the next one is the root chakra. And that's where your family ties in, um, how, where you come from, where you're able to have your um, ancestral connections. So, and it's weird that it's right there on your, on your growing area, but you're able to um, ground and be connected to mother earth too, cause you're oh. connected. Wow. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But I want you to know that your feet and your hands also have um, connections and openings to uh, your chakras. So whenever you want to ground and you find yourself in a place where you're able to um, 
find some grass or find a tree. Okay. Um, you can open up your hands and you just make like a, it, like, like a T and you pull it open. And then you do your other hand and you pull it open. And sometimes you'll feel like a tingly sensation on your yeah. fingers and on your, on your inner palms. And that's you opening up your line of uh, grounding. And so what I do normally is then I'll open up my feet as well in the same manner. Um, just like you did, you make the tea and then you open it out and you open okay. it up because once you open them up, then you can envision your body then yeah. connecting to mother earth and finding I'm feeling it. I'm telling you, what it's powerful. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I'm so glad. Dude. Okay, so now what you want to do is I'm going to push this back a little bit. So wh what you're going to do is you're going to bring out your, your energies from your being, from your being, and pull it out like this. And then turn your hands over and push it into the ground, into Mother Earth. Okay. And you do it, I do it three times. That's insane. And you push it all down and then you could feel all of the energy sources, the crown, the third eye, the throat, the heart, the sacral, the spleen, the root, all clearing. Wow. And whatever it is that was on it before is no longer there. And then you can see each one of those chakras then brighten up and create a beautiful illuminated light that lives within your human form. And once you see that, you're able to know how powerful you are. Damn. I, I'm telling you, even I strongly agree with how powerful your mind, your mind is a magnet. Definitely. Anthony is a very godly man. Like he is so into God. He talks to God every single day. Nice. I'm, not in, I'm not as involved in it as he is. I'm, <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, I'm so ADHD. I connect differently. And um, he, he meditates also. Basically what I'm trying to say is um, we're, since we're talking about chakras and the third eye and energies and everything for, for, for the, for the viewers that don't know, I'm in a relationship. My, my man, his name is Anthony. He is very spiritual. He is very much into God. So am I. And he is, um, he talks to God all the time and God talks to him. Well, yeah. He li God lives within us. Yes, we're taught so many different things in how God is is and who god is and what god is oh. in different religions that it creates a weird relationship for certain people with that but i'm yes. glad that you're bringing it up how our mind is a, is a magnet law of attraction whatever we speak out into the universe whatever we're thinking we create our own reality so for whenever sure. here's, a, here's an example i'm going to give you a small perfect example um, as I said, I am also a, a working actress. Okay. Mm -hmm. Aside from being a comedian and model, I take the, whatever crystal that works for me for modeling, I sit and I first meditate and then I light my incense mm -hmm. and then I take my little crystal and mm -hmm. I do the incense around the crystal like this until it fully like goes around the freaking crystal and I sit and I say with intention, like you have to believe in yourself and you have to say it like you mean it. I easily and with very little effort manifest whatever it is that you want to manifest. Like I say, I want to manifest booking highly paid lead and supporting roles. And guess nice. And you're doing it. What's happening? So, but the thing is, you have to the way the way it works is you have to like, you can't be so attached to it. And I know it's hard because you're so excited. You're like, oh my god, I'm I like it's it's. I can understand because you're excited, but you have to, you have to you 
uh, you have to somehow train your mind to just be very unattached, just like mm -hmm. let it go, like it's already happening. Yeah, Don't even worry it about go. it. And 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 if for if for some reason if it doesn't work out, it just wasn't meant to be. But or you know, like on set today, we had some we had some challenges. To, I'm sorry, he's two. There was a two year old that was just not cooperating. You can't control that. So I ended up not being able to do two scenes because of a two year old that you know he's being a two year old. So yeah. I, I was just grateful that I at least got one one scene in, and it was great. And that's all you can be grateful for. And they, I, you got, I got paid and, you know, things happen. Like you can't control what thing, what happens. Um, you know, our, um, you don't know how it's going to manifest into reality. You don't know what's going to happen. All you can do is control your own actions. So today when I told the director, don't worry, it happens. I also produce and I also create my own content. I write and produce my own content. So I, I understand how it could be so frustrating sometimes because you're trying to get this freaking scene done and the freaking act, the two year old doesn't want to cooperate with you. You can't, there's nothing you can do about it. It's, you're, you're dealing with the two year old. Yeah, that, that wants to freaking nap. You know how bad we all yeah. want to nap right now. We all want to fucking nap right now, but we can't. The two year old is not gonna understand that. All he understands is wah wah. I want to nap. Wah wah. That's yeah. It. So, I and I and I said, you know what? I know you're gonna have projects in the future. I'm not worried about it. It's all good. So that's a, an example of how I use my crystals that i and you and i ha, i cannot stress this enough you have to express gratitude for what you have yes that's super yes. important yes. and live in the mindset of gratitude yes. and thank and thanksgiving like it's super important to be able to constantly remind yourself i mean it's hard in the muck of it but it, it's rewiring your brain it's re telling yourself oh everything's gonna be okay like i have more money than i'll ever need i have more shows than i'll ever need everything's gonna work out the way it needs to like i'm not gonna lie i have been on a few more job interviews and what happened? i know that something's gonna come when it needs to come okay like and i keep putting it out there like may the best job that supports my financial needs come to me you know, and I'm throwing it out there. And so shall it be, because it's going to happen for me yeah. <laughs> and I'm getting shows. So it's like, maybe the universe is just saying, maybe this is your time right now to just re remember that you need to trust. And it's true. Every time I've trusted the universe and I've trusted God or whatever you want to call your higher power, I want to be able to let people know that once I started trusting with certain things, it all fell into place. Okay. It's the doubt that makes it a little bit harder. So once you feel that little doubt come in, you just got to remember, like put a little jingle in your head. Like my favorite, and I don't know why this is, but I think I read it in a book some somewhere, but once I start feeling some sort of nope, nope, kind of funky bits, I start just saying, I have more money than I'll ever need, or I've got joy, joy, joy down in my heart, you know, up in their heart, I got me some joy, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or just whatever to distract your mind from those funky thoughts that we all have, intrusive thoughts, always wanting to mess with our emotions. But I'm very grateful that I'm working, very, very grateful for everything that I have so you just have to you have to continue to just be grateful um even though certain things are not going your way just right. be, just be just be fucking grateful so yeah. seriously like i'm trying to keep up your vibration on a higher vibration yeah you know if it's music or if it's like remember you can hum at yeah. any point in time you want to but i mean it's it's not easy it's but not once you start practicing and getting it into your daily routine, like just like brushing your teeth every morning. Yep. You know, you got to give yourself them three positive vibrations, you know, whatever it is. If it's 
with music, with it, something to treat yourself, to give yourself a, a delicious tea, or even if it's just like looking at yourself in the mirror and reminding yourself, you're a boss ass bitch, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, you're a baddie, you know, or like write you a little uh, positive affirmations on stick it notes or like with dry erase uh, markers on your mark on your mirror, just to remind yourself, you know, right. everything works That's out the way it needs to, you know, everything happens my in my favor. Yep. Everything's working out the way it needs to, you know, whatever, yep. whatever affirmation that you can remember throughout the day. I just want to throw out there. I, um, I get emotional sometimes. And at the beginning, when it used to do that, I was like, what the hell am I crying for? Yeah. But, um, it's confirmation. So like the things that we started talking about with the chakras and how it all comes together, I think it's super important that people know how powerful they are. So I think that's why the tears started coming in so intensely. It was like my higher self was, you know, confirming that we needed yeah. to talk about it. So that was super amazing. Um, I'm super stoked for all your manifesting tips that you are throwing out there for everybody. Um, I'm super proud of you and getting all your stuff done. I'm super stoked that, you know, my shows are falling into place the way they need to and how we're, we have this platform to teach people about how amazing they are. But on, on that note, um, if you like our content, please uh, click like and subscribe.